Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rechak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation, much love and respect to you. I came out there pushing this word out in truth and sincerity. I want to do this lesson, um, you know, for the for the sheep Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, you know, to who needs to hear it, the spirit will lead them to this video. Um, but this is going to be speaking about how you have been chosen to receive this truth. And the, 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 the preciousness of this truth can't really be explained. You know, it can't be bought with gold. It can't be bought with silver. But the Lord saw it fit for you to learn this and understand this. Okay, so if you do understand this and you do know this truth, or you're and you're getting it or learning and and, and and getting it, starting to get it, then count yourself blessed. Okay, but you'll really know if you're blessed if you remain until the end, because we're still in the fight. The fight is not over. And that's why Paul said, you know, after when he was about to be put to death, he said, you know, now a crown is laid up for me, man. He didn't know that while he was going through the walk, but he knew that when it was time for his death, that he stood firm until the end. He did the work. He was diligent with the work. He was he was serious about the sheep. OK. And he did it until the end. So if you do that to the end, know of a surety you are of the elect. OK, if you do that until the end, if you do that to the point you're about to die, you are of the elect. But the thing is, we don't know until until the end is, until we're at the end, okay? So the first thing I want to get, I want to get Romans 11 and 7. This is Romans 11 and 7, and it reads, What then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Okay, the election, and you hear us speaking about the elect all the time because that's all that matters. You know, you have certain brothers, they go on the the, uh, the actual videos and they'll say, Shalom, Israel. We're not dealing with Israel. We're dealing with the elect amongst the nation of Israel. Okay? You got Israelite. Well, Travis Scott is an Israelite. We're not talking to him. We're not talking to Travis Scott. We're not talking to the, these uh, celebrities. We're talking to the ones that have been chosen by Yahweh Bashim Shai, really the lowly of this world for the most part. Okay. According as it is written, the Most High hath given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. And David saith, Let their table be made a snare, and a trap, and a stumbling block. And a recompense unto them. Okay, so the ones that are not chosen, the scriptures is a trap and it's a stumbling block. Okay. That's why they that's why certain issues will come up and, and it will make somebody get offended and lose the faith because King David put a curse up on you, on you wicked Israelites. Okay, so you would not receive the truth. It says. And, and did not David get the king the, the keys to heaven? He, he had the keys, man. He has the keys. Okay? That's how we know uh, Peter was King David in the spirit. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their back always. Man, I say then, have they have they stumbled that they should fall that they should fall? The most high forbid, but rather through their fall, salvation is coming to the Gentiles for to provoke them to jealousy. Okay, so even though that they didn't receive it, okay, the, the Gentiles, the ones that are not, you know, who didn't know they were Israelites at a certain time or were not raised as Israelites, those that are sincere among them could come back. Those that are sincere among them are of the elect, regardless of how they look, regardless of how they, you know, where they came from. 
Because the, the Heavenly Father doesn't judge as man judges. He, he, he doesn't look on the outward appearance. He looks on the inward appearance. Okay? And that goes back to that, that, um, that parable dealing with the wedding. You know, how he bid them to the wedding. And, you know, they didn't, they didn't want to hear. So he went to get the lame, the blind, and all that. The lowly, according to this world. That's who the Lord is dealing with. Which is also known as the elect. Okay, let's, let's get Jeremiah 3 and 14. This is Jeremiah 3. And verse 14. And it reads, Turn, O backsliding, o backsliding children, saith the Lord, for I am married unto you, and I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion. So the Lord is going to take us, you know, in small numbers. He's not going to take the whole nation. He's not going to take the whole family. He's taking one, one of a city and two of a family. That's a small, that represents a small number, okay, a remnant. Compared to the whole. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Are we not feeding you with knowledge and understanding? As the apostles and elders, have they not been feeding us with knowledge and understanding constantly? Constantly making videos? Constantly answering questions, edifying the flock? And it shall come to pass. When ye be multiplied and increased in the land in those days, saith Yahweh by Shimei Awashai, they shall say no more the ark of the covenant of the Lord, neither shall it come to, pa to mind, neither shall they remember it, neither shall they visit it, neither shall that be done anymore. So in the kingdom, we're not going to need the ark of the covenant because the, the heavenly father is going to be amongst us. But it starts with those chosen. It starts with the remnant. It starts with those that are going to be taken out of the world. They are not partakers with the world. You know, it's funny. The the brother um, or elder Rakoya Yaquam, he made a a statement. You know, he said that, um, or he made a post saying that they're rejecting the unjuice from being in the military right that's strategic from the heavenly father man showing you what that those that are not bowing to the system are not going to be part of that military because we know what's going to happen in the military eventually they're going to fight against Yahweh Shai. so the heavenly father is setting it up where the chosen the elect are not going to be drafted in that you see everything is set up perfectly Okay. And at the end of the day, what what is it, what is the, all these things have to do with the controversy of Zion? Okay? The things that were done to his people. And if you want to go deeper, it's for the glorific glorification of Yahweh Yahweh Shai. Okay? Um let's get Romans 9 and verse 15. You know, we didn't we didn't choose to be an Israelite. We didn't do anything to deserve this. Okay, this is pure privilege. All right, we didn't we didn't we didn't do anything to deserve this truth. We didn't do anything to um to have the spirit to follow Yahweh by Shimei Al He just put the spirit on us, man. You know, how many stumbling blocks are in the world to have you not believe in the scriptures. Like you could almost understand how Jake, you could understand how Jake don't get it because, or Jake doesn't believe because there's so much stumbling blocks in the world for you, for them not to believe. You know, the zeitgeist, the this, the that, the, the Muslim versus the, the, the Christian debate, and they always lose. The Christians always lose, man. Even the, the, the Judaism, they always lose versus the Muslims. And the Muslims have a false book. But the Hebrew Israelites, they can't deal with the Hebrew Israelites. Why? Because that's where the truth comes from. 
This is not of our own doing. This is this is greater than us, man. As Gamaliel, as Gamaliel said, he said, he said, let them alone. You know, um, if this be not of the most high, it shall, it shall, it shall not stand, man. Roughly paraphrasing. But if it be of the Heavenly Father, you cannot overthrow it. And they can't over overthrow this truth. There's nothing they can do. All right? And they can't deceive the elect either. No matter what they come with, they can't deceive. We know this is the truth of a surety, man. Even before we learned the scriptures fully and, and new precept, go, what precept to go through, it was the, the spirit was telling us this is this is the way walk ye in it. Matter of fact, <laughs> see, let me get that real quick, man. Let me get that real quick. This is Isaiah 30 and verse 20. It says, and though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. But thine eyes shall see thy teachers and thine ears shall hear a word behind thee saying, This is the way, walk ye in it. Turn the turn Salakia. When you turn to the to the right hand and when you turn to the left, which means you always gotta have the spirit, okay? While in your walk, the, the spirit has to be with you, okay? You have to be walking in, in the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He has to be in, in, in your mind, in the forefront of your mind. Okay. Now, when it says there's a word behind you saying walk ye in it, that's the Holy Spirit talking to you. While you were listening to the apostles, while you're listening to an elder, while you listen to a brother speak, wherever you learn the truth from, the spirit was telling you in the in the in the back of your mind, okay, it was telling you, listen, this is the way walk ye in it, man. This is it. All right. Now, the scoffers and scorners, they don't get it. The spirit doesn't talk to them, doesn't tell them this is it. Satan tells them this is this is mad, this is wicked. This is this is not for our turn. That's what Satan's telling them. Let's get um. Let's get back to Romans 9 and 15. This is Romans 9 and verse 15. It says, matter of fact, I'll go up, man. Let's go to, um, I'll start at 12. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. As it is written, Jacob have I loved and Esau have I hated. All right, we have to get that because now this is a hot topic saying Esau is actually loved by the Most High and, you know, and that the Most High, you know, can have mercy on Edomites. Most High is not going to have mercy on any Edomites. All right. What shall we say then? Is there a righteousness with the Most High? God forbid. For he saith to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth. But of the Most High that sheweth mercy. And I actually love that. I love, I always love that particular verse man i will have mercy on whom i will have mercy showing you the most high is dominant he he controls this thing man because i said so all right he controls this thing we don't control this we we are not in power he's in power we can't that's why the, the scripture also says who are thou that reply against the most high oh man he set it up that way because that's how he set it up man And it is it's funny that only the elect would really be able to grasp that, man. Esau can't accept that. That he, that he that he set it up the way he set it up, man, because he can. Esau can't grasp. Esau will not accept that. Esau would rather tell you, all right, because this is what they say in Satanism, that you know what? Satan is righteous and the most high is wicked. Look at all the rules that the most high has. Look at what he did to, to, to Sodom and Gomorrah. They'll they'll like they rather just twist things upside down to fit their narrative because they're of the wicked. You see, let 
And you got Israelites with that mind state. You got Israelites who think that way. Or oh, how can the most high be true when 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 he, he the babies are being killed? You know, like Jabari and the rest of these flipping clowns. Okay. So then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of the most high that sheweth mercy. For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might shew my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. And like I said, man, like I said, the ultimate thing, the reason why all these things are happening is to, for the glorification of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shai. All right? Therefore hath he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will he hardeneth. And, he's hard, and he has hardened the heart of you Edomites. Okay? That's why you Edomites, you should have known, right? Even though you knew we were Hebrews, right? That's why they called us Hebrews when we were coming over here. You should have known that it was a bad idea to take the, the Lord's chosen people into captivity. You know? You should have known that. But no, you rather... You rather be be hardened because the Most High hardened your heart. This is uh, this is Romans eight and verse twenty nine, and it reads, I'll start at um I'll start at twenty seven. It says, And he that searcheth the, the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of the most high. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love the Most High, to them who are the called according to his purpose. And you can't choose to love the Most High. It just has to be in you. He has to give you that spirit from the beginning. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate. It's predestination, baby. Okay? Okay. So from the foundation of the earth, we were chosen. Lord willing, we be of that number. The elect was chosen. Lord willing, we be of that number. Okay? So that's from the beginning. We we don't choose to be, um, to understand the truth. We didn't choose to understand the truth. We didn't choose to, 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 to um, be Israelites. It was already predestinated. Everything was predestinated. Esau didn't even choose to be the wicked. It was all predestinated. Okay? Okay. Right. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be firstborn among many brethren. Okay. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified. Right. And whom he justified them he also glorified man so he's going to justify us because what we all sin we all go off and we don't have we, we the, the creature was subject to vanity based upon this flesh man we're subject to vanity we're, we're subject to um to wickedness to going off you know to breaking the laws of the heavenly father man especially in this kingdom because this kingdom is completely toxic man you know it's a complete toxic kingdom. So everything we do is like, yo, yo, it's, 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 there's toxicity among it, man. It's too much toxicity in this kingdom. So what the Lord did is he's taking the, the best out of the worst. And he's justifying them. Even though we go off, even though we, we, we commit sin. Okay? Because he can. Because he can. That's it. That's the only reason. Because he can. Because he can do that. 
Lord willing, Lord willing, we be found worthy because he can do that. All right. And it says. What shall we say then? What shall we then say to these things? If the most high be for us, who can be against us, man? Nobody could be against the elect because the heavenly father is for that's why we don't we shouldn't we don't need to worry, man. Whatever Esau does is because the heavenly father allowed him to do it. And he's not gonna allow him to do anything that that we're not able to um to bear, man. You just need to worry about being repentative and and being sincere and doing his will. And if you're sincere, you're gonna do his will. Okay. You're not just going to be on the comment board eating uh, Lay's chips while brothers out there laboring, but you're an able-bodied man and you, 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 you understand the scriptures. No. All right. Even if you, even if you're, even if you don't understand the script, there's camps around, right? You got brothers not too far from you. Go help the brothers. Go do something. Go bring water. Go bring uh, coffee. Go bring something, man. Go do something. You know, do something with yourself, man. You know, it's ridiculous. You standing around and you watching brothers labor and you're getting all this food. And even Paul said this. He said, he said, what? Uh, if I sow into you my, the spiritual things, is it, is it any, is it any big thing that I reap your carnal? You know, you can't help me out, man. It says, um, actually, yeah, Con, let me go to, um, let me go to Numbers, the third chapter, all right, because the elect, all right, the elect is actually the firstborn among, among his brethren, okay, why? Because the elect was there from the foundation of the earth. With Yahweh Shai creating the earth. So the elect is the firstborn among the brethren. So, really, in the spirit, if you're of the elect, you're really older than your your father. You're older than your grandfather. You're older than your than your well, you might have been your great great grandfather, but you're older than you know the fathers before you. Lest they, lest they be of the elect. If they're of the elect, then you know you don't. You, you know they're they're old. They're old too. We don't know how old in the spirit they are. But all the ones that are not of the elect, you're older than them in the spirit. Okay, that's deep. You know, it's a it's a deep concept, but that's the facts. All right, that's the facts. Just like because what uh, King David called. Solomon Lord, his Lord, right? Well, that's because King King Solomon is over David in this in the spirit. King Solomon is over David and he's older than David. Or, or was older than David. But you, you know, he, he's here as Yahweh. Okay. So that, that so that's that shows you how far out the Heavenly Father is, man. He's far out with it. Okay. This is Numbers 3. In verse 12, it says, and I behold, I have, and behold, and I behold, I have taken the Levites from among the children of Israel, instead of all the firstborn that openeth the matrix among the children of Israel. Therefore, the Levites shall be mine, because all the firstborn are mine. For on the day that I smote all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, I hallowed unto me all the firstborn in Israel, both man and beast. Mine shall they be. I am Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, I am Yahweh. Okay. So, you know, the Lord, the firstborn of even man, even man and even, uh, excuse me, man and even beast is belong to the heavenly father. Okay, the first fruits. He gets the first batch of the of the fruits of the harvest. See, 
That belongs to your whole body, Shemi Oshai. You see? So the elect is the first fruits. The elect is the first fruits. The elects are the firstborn. Even if you might have been the second born or the third born child in this time, in the spirit, if you're of the elect, you were the firstborn. And the Levites, he joined, the Levites were joined unto him, but guess what's going to happen? That covenant is going to be disannulled, and we're going to have a new covenant under the order of Melchizedek, man. All right? And we're going to be um, a nation of kings and priests, starting with the firstborns, headed by the first begotten, which is Yahawashan. Got it? All right? This is, uh. let me get Numbers 8 and 17. This is Numbers 8 and verse 17, and it reads, as a matter of fact, I'll start at 16. For they are holy, given unto me from among the children of Israel, instead of such as open every womb, even instead of the firstborn of all the children of Israel, have I taken them unto me. For all the firstborn of children of Israel are mine, both man and beast, on the day that I smote every firstborn in the land, of Egypt, I sanctified them for myself. So anyway, so that, that's going. That's reiterating it again. All right. Just, just so you can get the point. All right. This is uh. Let's get John fifteen and sixteen. This is John fifteen and verse sixteen, and it says. Like I'll start at 14. It says, let's start at 13. This is heavy. It says, Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. And that's what Yahweh Shai did. He laid down his life for the elect. Okay? And the nation of Israel as a whole, but starting with the elect. Ye are my friends, because who's covered by the blood of Yahweh Shai? The elect. Not, not the whole nation. The whole nation is not covered by the blood. Okay? Because they're going to be judging this time. They're not going to they're not going to be delivered. They're not going to have that mark of exemption. The elect is going to have that mark of exemption. Ultimately, yes, the, the whole nation is going to be delivered based upon that. But in this time, they're not covered, man. All right? It says, Ye are my friends if ye do whatsoever I command you only if you do the will of the heavenly father you a friend of Yahweh of Yahweh only if you do the will of the father will he consider you a friend okay and this is our Lord speaking man so imagine that all right henceforth I call you not servants for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth but I have called you friends for all things that I have heard of my father, I have made known unto you through what? Through the Holy Spirit. Ye have chosen, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. That whatsoever ye shall ask of the, of the father in my name, he may give it to you. All right. You see, so hey, you got to bring forth fruit. You got to be fruitful in this truth, man. And fruitful also, you if you're if you're not doing the work, how can you be fruitful? And then you're gonna go and pray to the heavenly Father. Well, guess what? He he's not listen. He's not listening to those that are not they're not doing his will. He's listening to those that are doing his will. You see. It says, let me read that again. If ye were Salaka, um. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. These things I command you, that ye love one another. If the world hates you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. And the world hates us, man. That's why they... They, their face, they got a scowl on their face when they pass by, all right? 
Especially, especially the so-called black woman, man. She's in tune with Satan. All right. I'm telling you, bro. They be like, they be the head of that, man. They be the Edomite when we pass it by. They be smiling. They smile, yeah. and we be and we're cursing them out. We're telling them they're going into slavery, and they're smiling, giving them, you know, being friendly. You know. Anyways, the um, <laughs> yeah, we guys always gotta get out of, always gotta get our Eve because Eve is bad, something else, man. But all all these people are wicked, man. All every one of them. All right. That are not of the elect. Okay. If ye were of the world, the world would have loved this would love is his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. And that's it, man. So they they they're hate them hating us is a spiritual thing. And it's really a, a good thing. It's a blessing that they hate us, man. It's a blessing from on high. Because that shows, you know, that we're not part of them. If you got if you got a, a a transformer right, he's passing the cap and he's all he, he's all happy. Yeah, he loves you. Oh yeah. Well, that that you should be worried, man. Okay, you should be you should be very very afraid. All right. Okay. You got some 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 flamer, some floater walking past you. You know, and and, and he, you know he's like, oh, I like your spirit. That's not that's not good, man. All right. I would I would be I would be highly offended. All right. <laughs> Yo, let me get let me get first Corinthians six and seventeen, man. I would be highly offended. This is first Corinthians six and verse seventeen. And it says, But uh, but he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. Flee fornication. Every sin. That a man, that a man doeth, is without the body, but he that committeth fornication sinneth against his own body. All right. So hey man, you hey when you when you commit sin, you're out. You're, you're, that's outside the body, man. All right. What know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, which is in you? which ye have of the most high, and ye are not your own, okay? For ye are bought with a price, therefore glorify the most high in your body and in your spirit, which are the most high. So listen, man, we're bought with a price. Our own bodies are not our own, man, because the Heavenly Father is the one that, first of all, he gave us our, our body and our spirit. But then you had then you had Yahweh Shadow that died on the cross for us, man. So how can how can how can our body we owe we owe a debt to Yahweh Shai? You see? So, anyways, with that, hopefully that was edifying, man. You're blessed to be of the blessed to understand this truth. It'll be even more blessed to, if we're of the elect, man. Okay, so with that, we'll give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Hakwadash, double honor to the apostle and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation, much love and respect to you. I came out there pushing this word out in truth and sincerity. And shalom.